All right, today we're going to work on the 3020 again. I had mentioned the other day about the alternator and getting the new one ordered. So it came in yesterday, and we're going to go ahead and work on getting it put on. I debated whether or not to actually put it on today because it's freezing out. It's four degrees outside. It's snowing a little bit, and the real feel says it's negative 10. So I was a little hesitant on doing it, but I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway. Um, so you'll get to see me taking it off and putting the new one on. It will be, you probably won't be too, too much to see because the loader on the tractor is going to make it hard for me to get in there with the, the video camera. And it's going to be a little bit harder than normal to do this one because of the loader on there. It's going to be tight to actually get into there. So I'll go ahead and show you the new alternator here. So here's the new alternator that's going to go on and basically it, it holds on by a bolt on the bottom right here and then this is your slack adjuster bolt so once you get the bottom bolt on you tighten the belt up and then tighten that bolt down to hold the belt tight and then on the back is where the wires come out and then onto these two prongs here so this alternator came with a computer printed test sheet it uh, tells you the max alternator output maximum output power voltage regulator set point which is what the problem we were having with the other one this one says it's at 15.1 volts so we'll test it and see what it actually is doing and then it has the leakage current tested ripple current and then the turn on speed less than so and then it also says everything tested within specs So here's the here's what the sheet actually looks like. So that's pretty cool. All right, so I'll take the camera over by the tractor and get it set up as best angle as I can. Like I said, with the loader on there, it's going to be difficult to see much, but um, we'll still go with it.
just saw the new alternator being put on and you also got to see the the voltage output of it so it was just over 15 volts which it said it was going to be 15.1 but I was only a little over an idle there maybe a quarter throttle so at a little higher RPM it would be up up a little bit higher but 15 is good and that should keep it from overcharging and affecting the battery any um, we may have to buy a new battery because that one's been basically cooked so I don't know we'll see how it holds up here and maybe we'll have to get a new battery but anyway we got the the source of the problem fixed I'm about frozen my fingers are get about ready to go numb so that's all to this video and that was all to that job so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time